think what we have been doing so far is that everything what we do in theory or in practice need to be compared with some sort of data. So we've been using information learning technology as second source data. And then also when, when students do practical work, they're not sure what they anticipate during the practical work. So they can always use ILT to enhance their learning. Uh, if water enters at the top, air pockets and inefficient cooling may result. In the past, what we used to use was a video, which is two hours video. You don't want to use two hours video in a classroom. You only want a snapshot, which three minutes like that. So as they, go, as they go along doing their practical work, they can go specifically on that stage to have a look what must be done to avoid error. So then they can move on, etc. instead of standing here and showing them an hour or an hour and a half videos. We've got practical chemistry for level three, multimedia for level two, microscope, uh, which is a virtual microscope, can be used for level two and level three. Uh, diploma in applied science. We also have GCSE applied science. We, we don't train this year. So as we introduce a new course, what we do is that any relevant ILT for that particular course, we buy the software, we install it in a student intranet, so students can, can have access. Advantage of using ILT again, um, the students can go home or to LRC, still can follow up what 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 has been taught for that day, etc. And how do you think this advantages your students? Um, definitely it enhances the learning because of it, it accommodates different learning style. Example, you may say about how to do things uh, by saying it, but when they see it visually, that will demonstrate more clearly and then they learn better. Um, and then also, again, uh, ILT is not just simply to use as a main strategy uh, of learning and teaching, but that can be um, a strategy to enhance learning along with the main teaching and learning methods what we use. I mean, we could do practical work as it is and then move on. But what happened is, OK, some of them, they have different colors, as you see. Some of them, they have a bit of pinks and dark colors. They're not sure which one is the right product. Then they can use ILT to compare their results as a second source data. Mm -hmm. And do you find the students having access to this at home, that they involve their parents in some of the things they're studying? Do they um, get their mother and father to help them with their chemistry? Well, um, when it comes to assignment, mm -hmm. to avoid all this extra plagiarism or extra, yeah. what we do is that we encourage them to do their assignments in a classroom under supervision. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if I never come across or anyone come to me by saying my dad helped me to to use um, ILT, but I'm sure most of them have tutorial support. They have a group a group support. Uh, even if they have support at home, we would encourage them to have support. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to submitting an assignment, we expect them to submit a genuine work. Mm, so the assignment brief which is submitted, that by the way, they have all their assignment on VLE. Mm -hmm. So they, they have access to their assignments. They can have a look at their assignments. We don't have to produce, example, I have 20 students. I don't have to do 20 times, maybe five copies, 20 times five, that would be 100 copies. So they can have uh, the assignment brief right on the VLE they can work on.